Drivers, with today's freight rates, can you actually afford to purchase a brand new unit? What are the payments of a brand new unit? What are the interest rates like on brand new units? With today's freight rates, will you be able to afford paying off that truck? And where do freight rates need to be for you to be able to afford that truck? So I'll talk about all that in today's video and I'll also show you pay statements of driver's earnings based on today's national averages and a brand new truck and so you can see if they can afford it and i'll also show you where freight rates need to be in order for you to be able to afford that brand new unit so what are the payments on a brand new unit it doesn't matter if it's a volvo if it's a freightliner if it's a peterbilt a kenworth it doesn't matter what truck it is they all range about the same prices they're about two hundred twenty thousand dollars to two hundred forty five thousand dollars so we'll take the average or the medium we'll take two hundred thirty thousand dollars and in all our scenarios we'll play out a 20 percent down payment for it which is forty six thousand dollars so we're going to be financing one hundred eighty four thousand dollars with today's realistic interest rates what are the payments on these brand new units? Well, they're not cheap, that's for sure. All right, question number one is, what are the payments on a brand new truck? So let's go to Google, we'll go to commercial equipment financing. I'll scroll down to where I see ET Transport because I created a calculator for all you guys out there, okay? So it's a simple calculator. All you gotta do is write in the loan amount. So we said that truck is gonna cost us $184,000. The interest today, realistic interest rates on a brand new unit is gonna cost you about 9.5%. Um, the loan term, so we'll play a little bit with this calculator until we get the payments that we want. Remember, you dictate the terms to the finance company on what terms you want, not them to you. Because for them, the higher the, the term is, the more the commission is for them. So they will stretch you to nine years, eight years, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's best for you. So let's play around with this calculator. So loan term, let's try 48 months and see how much that truck is going to cost us. So the monthly payment is going to be $4,622. I feel like that's a little much, so let's stretch it into uh, five years. For a brand new unit, five years, payments at 38. Oh, $3,800 is expensive. $184,000 is the loan amount, and we said that it is $230,000, $230,000 times 0 0.20, and we're putting $46,000 down, okay? Now, if you don't have the $46,000 down, you really should not be buying the truck because I don't think that it's good to buy brand new units or any unit with less than 20% down. Um, a lot of people might differ with my opinion, but I feel like it's the best, um, your success rates are the best if you were to have 20% down. So for this, uh, exercise we will take 60 months because I don't like to do over 60 months I think 60 months is a little bit much um, and I don't like big balloon payments I don't mind ten thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollar bios at the end but I feel like after 60 months that truck should be paid off so here are our payments three thousand eight hundred and sixty four dollars is our payments all right so what are the payments on a brand new unit we just got it so it's three thousand eight hundred and sixty four dollars over the course of 60 months if you were to put 20 percent down and if you want to do it over 48 months it is four thousand six hundred and twenty two dollars now guys over here i purposely put total interest paid because i wanted you to double check your rates that you got that you're getting from finance lenders now i created a form over here on this page where you can actually fill out this form over here and you can get five or six companies to compete for your finance needs. All right, I created this for the audience just for you guys because I hate what's happening in our industry and guys are getting robbed and they are getting interest rates through the roof at 18, 20, 22%. So just a quick note, fill out this form if you are in need of commercial finance equipment. Um, but let's get back into this. So the reason I put this in red over here, total interest paid, because I want you to see how much interest you're paying over 48 months, how much you're getting paid over 60 months. Remember that brokers get commissions on these numbers over here, okay? So they usually get one, two, three percent on the deal. All right, so if you wanna know how much a broker makes, if it's 2% on the deal, it is $9,500 if he puts 2%. If it's 1.5%, he is making, he or she is making $7,100 on financing your equipment. So don't be afraid to negotiate with them a little bit. 9.5%, uh, 60 months, you are paying $47,000 in interest. Okay, that's a lot of money to be paying in interest. Question number two, today's realistic interest rates. Well, today's realistic interest rates are 9.5%. If you're a first time truck owner, you're probably gonna get it in at 11 or 12%. Now, what does this do to your payment? So you can play around with this link over here. 11%, it will make your payments up 
to $4,000, okay? If it's 12%, then it'll bring your payments up to $4,092. If it's 9.5%, then it goes back to $3,864. So those are actual realistic interest rates for somebody who has good credit and is a first time buyer. If it's a second time buyer, then you're probably at 9.5%. All right, then our next part of the video is where are freight rates now? Well, here's a link that I can share with you at the, at the bottom. Basically, it gives us the national averages for vans, reefers, and flatbeds. The rates right now for vans are $2.07. The national average for the first week of August is $2.07 per mile. That's what people are billing. Now, if you're going in the flatbed division, it's $2.51 per mile. And if you're going in the reefer division, it's $2.40 per mile. But we're gonna stick to the van division because I feel like that's the most common service that people provide out there. And owner operators and lease operators are usually working for van or interconnected with a van and reefer division. All right, and now let's get into the pay statement. So. 2950, so these are weekly pay statements. This is based on 2,950 miles, based on today's national average, which is $2.07 per mile. Okay, so if somebody is driving 2,950 miles with their brand new unit and is making $2.07 per mile, he's grossing out 6,106. Now, the most common form of what I see between the gross split from a company to a dispatch service or um, you know owner operators that are working for small fleets, it's usually 88.12 is what I see or 75.25. I will take in all these calculations, the 88.12 where the driver pays for insurance, the driver pays for the trailer, the driver pays for pretty much, the owner operator pretty much pays for everything, okay? So here we have the pay statement, here's the deductions, 12% uh, deductions for the service, for the fee, uh, this is a weekly pay statement. Fuel is calculated at seven and a half miles per gallon. The insurance is here. Um, so drivers left off with $2,873. If we take that payment for the truck at $3,864 and you divide that by four, you're looking at about $1,000 a week is what that truck is going to cost you. Now, if you plug in the $1,000 a week here and you have all your expenses, with today's national average at 2.07 cents per mile, is it worth it? So the answer to this question is no, it's not worth it because if you're only making $1,873 per week driving 2950 miles, I would recommend to you to become a company driver where you would make $1,917 today companies out there are paying 65 cents per mile. Now, if you're getting paid 65 cents per mile and you're running 2,950 miles, you don't have to worry about breakdowns, you don't have to worry about repairs, maintenance, oil changes, you don't have to worry about tires, you don't have to worry about anything, and you would make $1,917. But if you bought yourself a brand new truck, you would have a ton of headache on you. Nobody's guaranteeing you that you're gonna run 2,950 miles per week and your payment, you're making less than a company driver. So why in the world would you put yourself in that situation? Now imagine if you want a long weekend or imagine if you won't work 2,900. What if you get 2,500 miles one week? Well, this drastically comes down and it eats away at your money at the 1850 or 1873. Now, where is a good indication? So absolutely not. It is not worth it right now to buy a brand new unit, okay? The payments are way too high. The interest rate is way too high. Okay, when would it be a good time? So a really good indication of that that I tell people is once the freight rates over here, once the national average goes up to about $2.25 per mile, that would be a good indication that, okay, now you can afford that brand new unit. Why? Because at $2.25 per mile, if I do the exact same calculation, which is here, running 2,950 miles making $2.25 per mile, you'd be grossing this out $6,637. You'll have the exact same deductions and you'll have a $1,000 fee for your truck and you would be making $2,350 per week. Now, if a company driver makes $1,900 a week and an owner operator makes $2,350 a week, I am prepared to make an extra $600 a week and to take the headache on myself. Remember guys, headache costs money. If you're gonna become a lease operator, if you're gonna become an owner operator, make sure that it's worth it for you to become an owner operator. Right now, with the current market situation, with the freight rates being so low, with the interest rates being so high, it's just not worth it to become an owner operator right now. I get a ton of consultations booked with me with company drivers that wanna become owner operators and sometimes it's worth it, but sometimes it's absolutely not worth it. It. In my last consultation, there was a driver making 65 cents per mile 
and we went through this exact same formula and that's why I thought that invested to to do a video for you guys that it's not worth it to become an owner operator right now now if you were to find a job that pays you a lot more than national average some some trucking companies have contracts out there and those contracts pay 230 240 250 a mile just be careful with what people are promising you versus what you're actually going to be getting because there's a lot of fraud going out there or there's a lot of misinformation out there about what you're going to get when you start working for a trucking company versus what you actually get so that's my two cents that's what i feel i feel like it is not worth it right now to buy a brand new unit and it's not going to be at least for the next three four months so hold off because with all these bankruptcies help happening out there i really feel like you will find that steel you will find that truck you will find an unbelievable deals out there so don't be in such a hurry to become an owner operator and especially don't let these companies stuff down these lease purchase programs down your throat because with this formula with a thousand dollar fee sometimes there's a lot of trucking companies out there that will charge you a thousand dollars for 2021s for 2020 trucks and it's just not worth it because at the end of the day it just doesn't add up but as a bonus let me show you guys if the freight rate were to fall another five or ten cents all right if the national average would be two dollars per mile all right let's change this up to two dollars per mile okay so then the driver makes one thousand six hundred and ninety six dollars okay as an owner operator now remember 65 cents per mile is a lot more than one thousand six hundred and ninety one dollars headache free company driver versus becoming an owner operator taking all this headache on yourself and it's not going to end with this $1,691 because there are going to be months that you run into repairs run into maintenance run into a lot of problems with your truck your truck is going to be down and you'll be coming out at a loss eating away at those credit cards eating away at those whatever you have saved up it will eat it all away this is not a good time right now so remember hold off on buying those trucks now I am working on a crazy video right now on owner operators with multiple trucks why are a lot of them going out of business well i'll be doing the exact same thing taking an owner operator with multiple units a lot of people think that once they have multiple units or two three four trucks they're going to be a lot more profitable so this next video is going to answer a lot of your comments out there a lot of you guys want to become owner operators with multiple units so a second third fourth truck how profitable is it and at what point do they go out of business so make sure you're part of this channel i'm ronan r-o-n-e-n and i'll catch you in my next video